My name is David Gibbs and uh, I'm Professor of Human Geography here at the University of Hull in the School of Environmental Sciences. Certainly uh, increasing emissions of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere uh, means that we're seeing enhanced global warming and that's really a mix of things coming as I said from things like um, consumption um, of carbon-based fuels so you know coal oil etc and our use of all, the, all those fuels uh, as well as things like deforestation as well um, if you cut down trees then you're uh, cutting down uh, part of this part of the system which absorbs the carbon steady state economy is much more thinking about how can we uh, cut down the throughput of goods how can we stop throwing things throwing things away how can we get to a stage where we're not consuming any more resources so to take my car example you know and this is this is starting to happen in some ways um, we might think about well how can we disassemble that car rather than throw it away how can we how can we manufacture it in the first place so that we can recycle part of it, we can use parts again, we can make it into a, into a different car or, or, or a newer car. Obviously that's hard to achieve but that might be the aim in the longer term. There are certain groups of people who are kind of taking um, not quite things into their own hands but arguing that we can't rely on governments to do these things for us. So there is a movement called the Transition Towns Movement where people are trying to reduce their use of oil, trying to uh, build up a local economy. Um, personally I think that's, that's all very well but you do need a broader context and some of this or a lot of it does come down to government policy in the end. A farmer out in the East Riding made a move towards growing hemp. I think they'd had problems with waterlogged fields, they'd been growing potatoes, so they were making what's called hempcrete, which is a kind of a, a more environmentally friendly version of concrete uh, for building work. They're, they were also using some of the hemp to uh, produce briquettes for burning um, as, as well. So it's kind of quite an interesting, quite a radical, you know, you might think of perhaps farmers as perhaps not being very innovative in the local area but that, that was kind of an example where people were starting to think of ways well how can we transform what we do um, we will probably see uh, if government policy encourages it large offshore wind farms um, you know thinking even further into future you might think about some of the local chemical industries and petrochemicals can they move away to, towards using plant-based material to produce many of the things that we use, so things like plastics, for example. So again, we might be producing similar things, but how we produce them and what we make them out of could be completely different in the future.